Hey y'all, it's Kasia and today I'm going to show y'all how I did these knotless box braids. So we're going to be using three packs of the expression hair. This is the extra long hair. It doesn't matter what brand you use, but we're going to cut it in half and feather off the ends of the hair. And for each half pack, we're going to split that in half. And with each half, we're going to make 10 braids out of that. Well, 9 to 10 braids for this size. So... You're going to get about 40 braids per pack, give or take a few. It could be between 36 and 40 braids per pack of hair. Okay, so for each braid, you're going to take one piece of hair that we already separated and we're going to split that into three even pieces of hair. And we're going to use these three pieces to feed in. In the back, I did a normal feed in method, which I'm going to show later on, but this is the feed in method that I prefer the most. So I'm just going to show you this one first. Um, this is the one that I really, really like. But anyway, you're just going to start braiding and separate the hair into three pieces. Start braiding. And when you get to the first piece, you're going to add it in between your thumb and pointer finger. And you're going to leave one of the pieces out. And then you're going to do one stitch of braid and add another piece on that side between your thumb and pointer finger leaving the piece that's furthest out out and then you're going to go back and braid to the other side and you're going to add that piece that you left out originally you're going to add that in and also add in a new piece of hair and then you're going to do another stitch of braid adding in the piece of hair that you left out last time and then you're going to go back another piece of braid I mean another stitch of braid and add in the next piece that you well the last piece that you left out and then you're going to continue to braid down hopefully that makes sense but if not just watch the tutorial and watch what i'm doing to be able to grasp the concept i am going to slow down this part for i think three or four braids so that you can keep seeing the same thing over and over um this is the best way to do the feed in braids because it makes the braid even all the way down. I noticed a lot of other people's tutorials, their braids are either really thin at the roots and really thick on the braid part or they look twisted and distorted. This is the best way to get an even braid all the way down where it's not twisted or distorted. Pretty much a perfect braid without having that knot at the top.
So right here is where I did a different method. I used three pieces of hair. I braided two stitches. Then I added in the piece of hair. I braided two more stitches. Added in the piece that was hanging out. Added in a new piece of hair in that same spot. Braided down two more stitches. Added in that piece. Added in a new piece. And then braided down two more. Well braided all the way down from this point on. Making sure that I... Try my best to tuck in her colored hair and that was pretty much the method that I used for the back of her hair but for the front I wanted to make sure that it was really full in the root area so I did it the way that I did it in the beginning of the video but in all honesty I prefer that method that I did at the beginning of the video better than this method even though this method did turn out just fine I feel like this method is only good to use if you are using a thicker piece of hair if you have like a smaller piece of hair like I did on her edges in the front of her hair you want you will want to use the method that I used in the beginning but since this is the middle of her head and her hair is fuller here it didn't matter something funky.
So pretty much the last thing you do is dip the hair, put some mousse on the hair, and blow dry the hair dry. I didn't really show all that part, but I did show the part of me dipping it. But once you complete that, you're pretty much done with your braids. You can add jewels or whatever else, but I just want to say thank y'all for watching this video. I hope y'all enjoy it and leave any new video ideas in the comment section below. Thank